Hello, my name is John Neary. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to use Glassfish in an embedded mode. First, I'm going to create a project. In this case, I'm going to create a Maven-based project using a standard archetype. I'm going to call my project Embedded Glassfish. I'm going to change my package to Embedded. Hopefully we can get this all done in less than five minutes. I'm going to go in and change some properties on our product to version 6 and UTF-8. Select OK. Next I'm going to go into my POM file. And I'm going to add a dependency on Glassfish. It's under the Glassfish extras. We're going to use the embedded ball version. And I'm going to use version 3.1. We'll save that. Next, we'll open up our source file. I'll remove this. First thing I want to do is I want to create some Glassfish properties. And then from the properties, I'm going to set the port. In this case, I'm going to call it HTTP listener. And I'm going to set it to port 8080. Next, I'm going to create our Glassfish instance. We'll get the Glassfish runtime and we'll bootstrap it and we'll use our new properties. We want to start our Glassfish instance and then we want to be able to get a deployer. And we're going to load a number of random WAR files from our command line, so we're going to need a loop to do that. We're going to let everybody know that we deployed that application. Finally, we need some method of shutting it down. And 
we're just going to read a line from the console. I'm not going to do anything with it. We're just going to catch whatever somebody's done. And then we want to shut down everything in a nice manner. So we have all of our applications we may have deployed. So we're going to get the deployer. We're going to get a list of all of its applications. And then we're going to say deployer undeploy our application. And then we're going to stop the Glassfish instance. And then we're finally going to dispose of the directories that it creates by calling the dispose method. All right, so let's take care of some issues here.